Okay, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. I hope you guys have music now. Let's start the stream. Give me awesome music. Okay, I think this might be good now. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what I got here for you guys. I can do this. Alrighty. Um. <clears throat> Sunday, Sunday is today, Sunday afternoon, Bangkok, Thailand, all right, uh, yeah, um, I have some time, so let's get working, um, what I just did is, I just actually changed my gem file already, and then I decided, okay, I have a little bit more time, I can stream this today, um, let me quickly get my green screen up for you guys, just a second, just a second, Okay, this should be good, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit better now. So I go here, now I go there. Okay, that is this side. This side needs a little fix. And we are good. All right, beautiful. All righty. So what I did, let's have a look here at the git diff actually, I make a new branch and I don't know updating to rail 6 yet but I, ha I create a new branch rail 6 and I just changed my gem file. I wonder what actually did I exactly do, let's have a look here, right well, now I staged it, that was pretty shitty, okay and my Okay, let's have a look here. Can I can I split left? No, that's not what I need. Damn. What I need is jump to five, split up, close pain. No, nope, one more time. I want to actually. I would like to see the git diff left and right. That would be pretty cool, but that seems not to be possible. Uh, yeah, okay, so very obvious gem rail 6060. And let's see, I removed. Hmm. Okay, I removed this, this. I don't need that anymore. Jason. Fast JSON API, RRT is gone, Montrose is gone. Yeah, this was interesting. I don't know, I don't think I need this. Let me go, state machines, active record. All right, so all the comments here are gone. We don't need that. What is here, juice? Okay, we don't need that. I think this is default, kind of like included. Okay, so I think my gem file looks good. Except that I don't want that anymore. Let's call bundle update. Let's see if that's still working. So, and then <clears throat> uh, let me actually quickly check my sound if that is okay for you guys. Just a second. I want to make sure you guys have a good sound experience here. Okay, let's see. I, I just watched my own stream here. Just a second. Um, okay, what we got here? I need this in lower quality. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me, I gotta check my microphone. I have the feeling my microphone is gonna be too loud for you guys. 
If that is the case, I will fix it. Oh shit, that was way too loud. Yeah. Okay, so this goes back all the way here. Now we good. Okay, sorry for that. I think now the sound quality is good. You have to tell me that. I, I really, th I really think so. I mean, I hope so. Okay, sounds sounds good to me. So we can keep it this way, I guess. Good. Sorry for that. And in case the sound wasn't that good, I'm really sorry. I didn't do on purpose. <laughs> okay, now it's okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go R spec. I just want to see all tests. I know we had some failing tests, but that was more just path helpers. And the very first thing I see is boof, a lot of exceptions. So the first thing I can just stop this here right now. Okay, stop it right now, and then we work our way up from here. Um, let's read this. Uniqueness validator will no, no longer enforce case sensitive case, <coughs> case sensitive case sensitive comparison in rails 6.1 to continue case sensitive comparison on the affiliate tag pass case sensi sensitive true to the unique validator hmm we don't need that. Most likely you don't want case sensitive stuff. Okay, most likely you never want that. So I think um, if I go to my user quickly. There, and I think here. Uh, I think I have to say then case sensitive false my idea yeah that's where do we have something okay there's something else mm -hmm. wallet deposit so then this is unique no deposit rb is then maybe here Okay, validates uniqueness of TX ID scope, and then we say here case sensitive fault. Okay. What else do we have here? This seems to be all the same. Okay, let's run this quick and let's see if something changed. And then if something changed, then we can uh, figure this out. Okay, so there is still more to come. This is on reference attribute. I think I know where that is from. That is in our has identifier gem. So let's load our gem here quickly. Rails has identifier. Go into here and say let has identifier and that is uniqueness. Case sensitive false. Okay, it's not from here. Fine. Let's read this reference attribute in ledger deposit model ledger entry hmm but the reference create ledger entry let's have a look here reference is now there is nothing unique here hmm very interesting uh, let's in deposit. Wait, wait, wait. Wallet deposit RB. Okay, he's saying 82. Let's uh, deposit create. So that's my reference here. I don't see anything unique here. 
And that is a bummer. All right, so the f next thing then what we do is we pick one particular test, one particular. R spec, spec, models, user, spec. Just one small model and we go step by step and we try to see if we can fix something for there. All right, there's a deprecation warning. Okay, that comes in spec models user spec to 20. So let's have a look what we're doing here. Spec models user spec to 20. There we go. Factory bot create withdrawal address. So if I go withdraw address, and there is some uniqueness. And then here we say case sensitive. Wait, case sensitive false. Now let's see if this is then already fixed. That would be great. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we continue. The next one is then maybe the whole merchant thing. Let's see if there's some uniqueness failing. All right, looks good. Then we go into models again, just all models. Have a look what's going on here. Okay, there is coming something and that goes into account balance. Account balance. So, models account balance 65, which is here, ledger with drawer. Ledger with drawer. That is interesting because Account balance 65. Um, we call a ledger withdrawal is on ledger entry. And validates, there is no uniqueness here. I don't see it. Indexes, those are just random indexes. Mm hmm. Have dup, 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 dup. Interesting. And now we are stuck. Now we are stuck. So there is somehow a uniqueness validator that I don't see yet. Uh, has identifier, say case sensitive for. So I'm pretty sure it's not my, you know what we do? We do this quick. Nano gem file and say it has identifier. Okay, it's local anyway. So we call spring stop. And we run this again. I just want to make sure this is not coming from my has identifier gem. Just to ensure this, you, you never know, right? Okay, so it's not from here, it's still there. So this wasn't the issue. Okay. Column identifier. Well, we know this unique true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not that one. I don't see anything else that is unique in this particular test. The same goes for vault signer. Vault signer. Okay, here then case sensitive false. Okay, vault signer is fixed, most likely. Vault RB, let's have a look at vault RB. There's nothing. Okay, we can also say in models, uh, we search for unique in models. App models. Okay, validates uniqueness of friend ID. I don't know if I need now case sensitive faults because that's an integer. Right? Like validates amount. Case sensitive sounds super stupid for that. Case sensitive faults is here already in for ticker and name. TX ID. Okay, there it is. Deposit. 
La uniqueness, true case sensitive, false. And then the same goes here. Okay, now we got this. And then validates a set uniqueness. And then here as well. Case sensitive, false. Uniqueness. Verification. Yeah, most likely. Okay. Uniqueness. Case sensitive, false. The key for sure is case sensitive, false. We have that already. And true if alive. Well, uniqueness is then in this case case sensitive, false if alive. Okay, I think now we got this completely. Hopefully. Let, let's have a look, guys. I mean, updating. Okay, this is definitely less warnings already so far for this much. Mm, it's still coming. Create ledger entry. Where is this coming? Holy shit. Wallet deposit. Wallet deposit. Still 82. Ledger deposit. Oh, that needs to be here then. Sure. Okay, now case sensitive is for the uniqueness validator. Okay. So let's try this one more time. This is wrong. This needs to be the same thing. Uniqueness is in the hash. And... Okay, I have a good feeling that it's maybe now fixed. That looks better. Just a little bit. Okay, almost nothing, almost nothing. I mean, what is this? This is just such a little bit. Okay, now it's popping a little bit. Withdraw signing. Mm -hmm. Where might this come from? Let's have a look, mate. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay, first like mailing history spec. We don't need that anymore. So if I go here into spec, I'll spec this one. That can go home and the document spec can also go trash. See ya. Okay, so what we got here guys. This is uh, quite an interesting question. Withdrawal signing seems to be a lot here. So we go to vault withdrawal signing into 21. This is it, self update. So it seems like that here in the vault is the issue. And I think set confirmation code, where is my uniqueness here? There is nothing Hmm. Create withdraw signings. There is nothing with uniqueness. Oh, sorry. This is a different. Update attributes is deprecated. Really? My favorite method. Why is that? Why? Why they do this? What is the exact reason to do that? Why would you do that? I mean, I get it. It was an alias and then... Uh, okay. Yeah. I understand. Okay, I mean, yeah, they did it in 2013, so yeah. 
Okay, it's time. So then let's do this quick. Everywhere where we call update attributes. So we just call update. I think update attribute, the singular, will still be in the interesting that here in the test then I use it a lot in the tests. <laughs> okay. Now Rails update attributes callback, does it? See? That's what I mean, that's why I use it. This is why I like it so much. I like it so much because update attributes. Oh wait, no, attra update attributes still calls the callback. Okay, so they change it. They they remove update attributes in six one because this is like five years old that they wanted to change it. Okay, I get it. So. Update attribute stays and attributes is gone. Good. Um, I run all tests again. Should be good. I don't know. Okay, so if we don't want any callbacks, we need to call update columns. Makes sense. Just get away from update attributes. Yeah, okay. So our spec spec models looks good with one F. We can live with that. What I wanted to see actually is this. So is he running all cores? Maybe, I don't know. It seems like it's the same speed as before, but they say like Rail 6 has parallel testing. So kind of like Oh no, we need to implement that. Let's go quick vault withdraw spec 89. Vault withdraw spec 89. Um, mm hmm. think if I run this again, this has just stuff, something to do with this is so unlucky that if the test is executed at like a second point eight, no, point nine 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 milliseconds and then that gets twisted a little bit. Uh, I, I accept this. I don't, I have to think about how I can fix this, but I really want to see this now. Is he using six cores? And is that like the same as before? Is I gonna run this test? This test, it looked, it looked long to me. Well, I got the same F again. That would be really bad. Like that F should be so rare. So how long do we need here? 44 seconds. I feel that's a long time, guys. Man, 44 seconds for just model tests? Okay. But let's see how long this test goes. And then I'm gonna switch back to rates 5. And we're gonna compare, because then I know I have to activate something for the parallel testing environment. I don't know yet. So another 44 seconds. Okay. Git status. What did we do here, kid? Git add, git commit. Uh, minus M fixed deprecations and models. All right, now we good. Keep check out master. And I just run the same. I want to see the speed. If this is the same, most likely it is, but I don't know. Okay, I mean, 
I can't really tell the difference here of like core activity. I don't know, man. I really don't see any difference at all here. It looks kind of like the same. So then the valid question is, let's Google this quick. Rail six parallel tests. And a combo aspect. So let's read about this. We run test tests, uh, tests in parallel by default. Okay. Setup. Mm. There you go. So what we have to do now? I wonder what should, what is the the uh, default maybe one. So this was also like. Yeah, 44 seconds. So we go to get checkout rail six. So I was correct. My feeling was correct. I don't have a test helper, but I have a rail helper. My feeling was correct indeed. Active support test case. That there was something kind of like, I don't know, not broken, but. Okay, you know what? I gonna run this. Workers is six. I gon I go wild here. Let's have a look if this goes in 15 seconds. Oh, I'm no, I want I'm sorry. Uh get check wait. Get check out Rails six. Okay, is this in now? Alright. And then I say aspect. Uh, Maybe this is done in like 10 seconds now. Or it's throwing an exception. We don't know yet. So many different ideas that could happen. Okay. So far, I don't see any difference. So I think it's still not enabled at all. We let him run. Uh, set up and tear down hooks. Two hooks. Oh, we don't need that anyway. No. Parallel testing with processes threads. Uh. Okay, should we do this with threads or with processes? Well, threads is better, I guess, right? Customize a number. Oh, this is. Mm-hmm. So, okay, this is probably just for the Rails test. So that means our spec isn't utilizing that. Okay, so we need that in our spec. I hope this is supported. Okay, there is support. It's a rather large task, however, if we get Okay, so our spec doesn't support this. Well, shit. I was hoping, well, I didn't look into this, but I was hoping. Shit. Support 
for what did he actually do? They merged something. Upgrade to raid six. Uh, parallel. I wonder. Okay, I, I don't understand this yet. I gonna, okay. Regardless if threat or processes, our spec core isn't supporting it yet. So if we run a rail six application and use our spec, we won't benefit from it. Correct? Question mark. Okay, that's that's a bummer. That's such a disappointment. Um Okay, no problem. I mean no problem, really, no problem. Let's run the uh our spec controllers uh, what is this uh, specs controllers sure so that's really a bummer Because I know in the controllers there is something broken. I know this because this is just a feature test, like path helpers. Oh yeah, this is broken. Okay, I can fix that quick. While it's controller spec, let me fix this quick. Um, while it's controller spec. We did this on Friday together, guys. That if we have a vault, and we don't give him emails here anymore. Ooh, ooh. What we create? Our secret? Uh, let's do the following. We say... Actually, here better. Factory bot create vault 3.5. And say user is then the user as set is like... Asset find Bitcoin Factory Vault. So it's taking this one here. So yeah, user and then that is fine. So we need don't need this shit anymore. Okay, and then we confirm them all and we say yeah, we transfer your money, buddy. Mm-hmm. Now let's go. Aspect controllers API v1. Wallets controller spec. If this is then fine again. The user isn't known. So I say here user. Okay, shit. So then here I say user first. Oh no, it's add user. Sorry, add user. There we go. And we save that in variable v, so that it's accessible for the rest of the test. And then, okay, only one five got zero compared using, yeah, that is something interesting now. So the question is, what's going on in 105? Let's go in there, in 105. Okay. It renders all history for the wallet. Now, before we jump into this, we need to read what we actually do here. Okay, this is nothing super easy. Let's read quick. We say we have 
a user who has Bitcoin. Uh, and yeah, Bitcoin and Euro. We create three deposits. Three times do incoming deposit, create, good. And then we confirm these. So we have three deposits. And we say he gets a fourth one, he gets euro deposit. So that's four deposits. Then we create a vault. And we say for that vault, we transfer three times money into the vault. Um, okay. So we have three deposits one euro deposit we have three transfers up oh, believe Vianya. what's up my friend <clears throat> good morning hello nice sunday wish you a good weekend we have three transfers to the vault i'm just upgrading to rail six holy shit and then we have three by orders okay so this is what we expect good now if i run this and i have my binding pry in there let's see what we just get back here no i don't have it it wasn't like wait what why is this green now? I, I had it running and it was red. They all red. And then 105 was red. Oh, it's like 112 now. Okay. Okay, cool. So it's in 112 now. Uh, okay, let's go to 112. So we call get show. There he is. So this is what we get. Now. I expect 11. So let's see actually Jason body. What do we get? I get immediately 11. So 11. Is that even correct guys? 3, 5, 8, 11, 12. I expected 12. <clears throat> One euro deposit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Three. I expect ten. What is going on here? I don't see withdrawals. Why is it eleven? I expect three. Three deposits, one deposit, four deposits, three transfers to the vault, and three buy orders. What do we get here? We have a withdrawal. Where is that coming from? One, two, two withdrawals. One, two withdrawals. Is that corrected? Oh man, this is difficult now. Okay, let's start here. Three deposits for Bitcoin. We have three withdrawals for Bitcoin, which goes to the vault. Is it? I think so. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we do something else there. So we are here, there's nothing before. Where's my two withdrawals coming from? And why is it 11? I mean, I expect withdrawals to be three. So this will be correct. No. Oh, the type is small now. It 
the type is small. So if I go here, he got five. I mean, it was five. Watch out, watch out, watch out. He, the, the initial test say five. I don't know why it's five. I have to read the test. So I think now the test is working again. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Now trading, we expect three and it's zero. Why is that? Because it's not trading anymore, it's trade, I guess. Trade, yeah. Trade. So now the test will be passing. But I wonder if this is correct and Jason body is 11. Let's go into the API wallets controller. And go into the show method and have a look what's happening. Ledger entries. Okay. Now it makes sense. It's just all ledger entries. It makes totally sense, guys. Because... Two with... No, no, no. What? Why is it withdrawal five, dude? I have my withdrawal. Two. O5 Uto5. And then I have like real withdrawals kind of like Oh, sorry, it went on. There it is. Okay, so here the Okay, so the user gets another withdrawal a real one okay that is correct so we write this better a little bit we can say three transfers to vault plus two transfers to external wallet we have three trades and five deposits, so that's six, eleven. Okay, everything correct, guys. Everything correct. Okay, that is fixed. Oof. Good. Let's go all controllers here again. Yeah, I think all controllers being good. So then we run units, no features, no the features fail, but we run unit. Unit might be good as well, I can't remember shit there. And then the features, they are breaking. The features are breaking guys. Okay. Get the status. And we can say uh, fixed model controllers unit tests. We didn't fix, we say green. Okay. And now what's really breaking is the feature one. Because this is where we click on the website and we change so much in the front end and that this whole thing is going to break. Mm. Okay, most likely. Oh, yeah, he's okay. He's compiling. Okay, interesting. It's like CSS stuff. Let's see what's deprecated. A warning, I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, that's the EAD CSS? Oh, yeah. EAD Rails gem. Let's have a look. Uh, is it Rails EAD? I think so. So actually active. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And then we say issues. Rails six support. have actually any issues here? I don't, I don't think so actually. I don't know. Well, but I, I still open the issue. New issue. SCSS warnings by compilation. Okay, and we say here. This. Submit new issue. Good. If I go, oh shit. Let's go here step by step, I guess, guys. What is this? Aspect. Change password spec. That's very interesting. Because that's not even implemented in the new one. Okay. Red crump trail. Okay. So I can make like def method missing. P missing method. Maybe this is then the trick workaround. Now he is actually method and then we say missing method and then method false to be truthy. And now he should print it actually. Yeah, internal root path, security passwords show, security passwords show. We could actually Missing breadcrumb, uh, bread, breadcrumb trail rb missing method, and then we give him that. And what we can do here is quickly we say these two, we just we just make them that fear, and then we say death. I wonder, internal root path? Okay. Root path should be home. And then, like, internal root path is home. Home, and then it's like... Something like that. So, assertion. Let's have a look what happens here. Change password spec 24. Oh shit. Let's have a look quick. Is it root path? Internal root path? 
Routes are B in char. Root ch. Well, root needs always go to like the bottom. I'm pretty sure about that. But I can suggest this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, pretty bad now. Okay, let's see what we... Okay, this looks better now. Uh, we can go change password spec. Change password spec, and this is 14. It can change his password. So the first thing is like visit internal security password path. Now, what is it? Password. So if I go rake routes, grab security pass. Uh, I need to see this. So it's just slash security slash password. I want to see what's happening. If I go rails s and I say this, where do we end guys? Where do we end? Oh, compiling quickly, apparently. And then it is this line that we need to execute here. All right, so what we have here, change your password. Okay, so we go here. We fill in this with whatever it is, man. So I'm doing this and I say then here, hello and hello, I click update. Okay, I don't get the flash message. I guess this is, I guess that is the issue here right now that there is no flash help at this point because um, that it is your password was changed successfully. And then if I go to change, now nah, I go to, Internal, no, I go to controllers in China and maybe like password controller. There it is, it's a flash notice. So all we have to do is bootstrap here for flash helper. Uh, this is all we need. It's always a great thing. Is there a fork? Okay, now I go to my internal helper and say the following here. So, is this what we want? Alert is alert warning. Stringify keys. Why is it a oh, stringify? Okay. Strap class for flash type. Ich muss ja gar nicht stringify keys machen. Ich muss einfach nur to, to add to sim call. But never mind. Or flash type to s. Yeah, well, okay. And then here is my my alert class. All right, looks good. Looks fine. And then all we have to call here is flash messages. He's looping it. Let's have a look guys. So we go to internal hammer. Here's our nav button. I, I want to have it actually underneath a little bit. So probably here. No, wait, below the breadcrumbs, obviously. Your password was changed successfully. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So this whole thing is still working. So I'm going to run the same test again and then hope all tests for this is running. Okay, it looks fine. Missing method internal root path. I want that. 
I wonder if I go routes, uh, rake routes, grab root. Hmm. Is this from here actually? So I slay slash internal. Is it then still missing? Like, is it really a path helper that it's called? Yeah, it is. That. Oh, you see? That was broken all the time. No, that's correct. Well, fine. I'm okay with that. And then change personal password new. What's the view for this man? All right, let's run the other features here quickly. Spec features. Looks good. User withdrawal looks good, most likely as well. No, withdrawal are gonna have some issues. There's going to be a lot of red. Watch out. Yay. <laughs> Internal wallets path. There you go. Wait, is he not? To expect one. Uh. Mm -hmm. Method, we can't call this a method actually, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. No, we can. Oh, wait, we can. We can. It's no problem. But I wonder if this isn't this. Because they are like params included, most likely. See? Okay, now it's getting better. Okay, now we need, all we need now is new internal. That was internal wallets path. Why isn't this here? So it seems like all these path helpers here not working. Brad from Cotons, we use this. Where is then? Hmm. Post path. Po ah. I get it. No, I don't get it. Internal wallets path. Wow. So. Uh, let me, let's see this quick. If I go. Now these are going. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? 
change your password looks stupid. What is this? Uh, view. So I want to change this. <laughs> this makes me angry that it looks like this. Uh, internal security. Uh, it's password. So, and then we say we don't need this anymore. Okay. And if I go here, password. And then it's something like breadcrumb. That fat things. That's like home and this. And then here I can call settings and then change your password. Yeah, it looks better. And then... Okay, like this. Home security, change your password. Okay, fine. The next thing is then here we say card, and then this is card header, H5, change your password. And then this whole thing is card body. And I can tell you that this we don't like. And we say here is link to whatever, man. And we say class button button danger float left. And we say do cancel. And this is class button, button success, and then float right. Now this looks a little bit better, I guess. And this whole thing goes into a call six. Uh, no, call 12, call LG6, card, card header, card body. If link to do cancer, and then here is Change your password. Okay, good. There you go. Now it looks like it's the same as usual. Uh, if I go wallets, Bitcoin. How is that done? Just a second. Oh, it's a row. So here's a row. So there you go. Yeah, now it looks better. So if I go here on security password path, that looks good. Now I want to just see the test for this again, because we changed the tem uh, we changed the template, so there is an error in the test for the button. He can't find the button. There you go. Update user doesn't exist anymore. It's change your password, so it's not update user it is now change your password and now if I run this test it should work Good. Uh, the next thing that was is going on here. Wallet with drawal sub back. Well, let's run this quick. We run this town, guys. Don't forget that. What is wallet with a drawal sub back? I guess the button is not. The button is missing. Yeah, to have link at with drawal address. Um, let's have a look. If I say here, now nah, it's create withdrawal address. 
So let's go in that spec. Spec features user withdraw here. If I go on this page, it has a button to create a withdrawal address. No, 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 no. If I go context create a new withdrawal. Uh, that's even the wrong link. It's here. There it is. And it's not a plus anymore. I understand it's not a plus anymore. That's the issue. It now is uh, the font awesome icon. And for that reason, it might not work. So we have to say like to have link and then like with text, I guess. So maybe he's ignoring the icon. Okay, he's, he's ignoring it, okay. A new internal wallet with drawer path. New internal wallet with drawer path. If I call this, what's happening, dude? Breadcrumb chair. New internal wallet withdrawal path. Hmm. Yeah, if I click there, that's not working. Never did. I, 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 I can't believe this. My helpers are not available. Okay, we give him this, and then we say this. Okay, let's go. So that is the breadcrumb. Okay, if I go on vault, new. And then... Internal vault path. Okay, let's have a look. Break routes. Grab internal vault path. Uh, and then I say.
so there we go. Now they have all information. Internal vaults. Okay. What are the pull requests? Oh. Oh. What do they do here? Oh, interesting. Have a look at this. Oh, so this is how they do it with the Helper methods. Wait, 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 what? Okay, I figured this out. So the issue is on my side. Okay, so I can say. Okay, so what we can do here is just then super. Hopefully that's good. Yeah, now it's correct guys. Uh, so this is then... Oh, this whole thing doesn't make sense. That's shitty. Because all the path helpers are unknown methods and then... Hmm. Okay, never mind. This is working as it should. Hopefully, I guess. So, back to the test. There was something wrong. Uh, broken. Withdrawal spec 15. And it was this. Okay, that was fixed. Then I fixed this. Okay, is this whole thing now good? Wallet withdrawal spec. We did a lot of stuff there. Okay, create withdrawal that is not disabled. Let's have a look what we got here. Wallets, and then I go Bitcoin. I say withdraw Bitcoin. Look. Um, <laughs> we start with 31. So it's here. Withdrawal. Click button, create withdrawal. The withdrawal is written small. I think that's the first. Create withdrawal. Now it might be good. And then 39. Yeah. Okay. So they all go. Okay, just typo. So, uh, all features now. Ok, 
Cool. That means all specs together are green. And that could imply that we successfully upgraded to rail six and we can ensure that we don't have any side effects. Super important guys, don't have any side effects. Very, very important. Because like, I mean, yeah, we could have upgraded already and then, um, okay, now we know nothing is broken. Maybe there could, there could have been something broken, right? And then we don't see it. We just don't see it. This is why tests are so important. And like, especially if you go for major release upgrades or something, man, you need tests. The same for all the gems. Imagine we update device, which has a breaking functionality for us. And then we don't have tests. Holy shit. But that means now we can peacefully solve our Rubik's Cube while the tests are going strong. So we go here. And green is over there. Okay, white cross. Nice. Wait, get dev config routes. Okay, sure. So get all. But before we merge this, we definitely have another look on that. Uh, but okay, I mean, the tests are green. So what we expect, man, I mean, more than more than having it working, we, we can't really do. Uh, I read and then nobody told me, yeah, I upgraded and my whole application broke. No, like most people, they say, yeah, everything is smooth. And Rails 6 is already like a long time in production on Airbnb and um, Bootcamp, for example. So, why should there a major break in our application if they didn't encounter it? That's that's a good question, actually. Huh? So and now we need the last one on this side, which is okay. Now we have layer two, good. Oh, layer one, layer two. Now the top one. So we go and here. So, where do we go from here, dude? Uh, maybe here. Okay, I'll go. And now we good. All I have to do is change the yellow corners. And we are solved completely solved except i mean okay this is yellow and this is the green one because it's a green screen guys you can look through <laughs> but yeah it's soft congratulations timmy all right get push origin rails six well now have a look though have a look guys what's happening here able to merge let's death um commit checks file change this is the most important thing and i want this i want this uh left by right no 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 how can i say i want it left to right Split. Now that's what I want. Okay, coffee rails is... Okay, not for two anymore, we just track it up. Rails six, apparently. 
Just comments replaced. All right, GAM state machines active record. Yeah, okay, we don't need the link to the GAM for active record. We don't need that anymore. Fix gem file. And what else we have here? That is gem fast JSON API is now OJ. Okay, it's gone. I don't. Oh, there. Okay, what else do we have? That's it. That's it. Nothing else was touched here. So the gem file log, yeah, well. Okay, we added the bootstrap helper for the flash messages. We added some breadcrumb trail stuff. We fixed these ones, the case sensitive, sensitivity. And now all tests are green passing sensitivity. We call up Update instead of update column, uh, update attributes, we call update. We, update was a new method introduced in 2013, so now it's getting thrown away. Update attributes got replaced by update. Uh, we changed the route, root, root is at the end, <laughs> makes sense. Um, wallets controller, we changed the way we create the, the vault. And this changed actually, actually the uh, type. It's not uppercase now, it's lowercase and trading is trade, which makes sense. Because um, otherwise it needs to be withdrawing and depositing. <laughs> so it's just a deposit. It's like the noun. Okay, change the password. We changed the button words. Um... That's just text changes the same here. Create withdrawal with X. and then subject. Okay. Looks like a really good stuff here for me. Now I want to rebase this. I say git log. We make one, two, three, four. Okay. So I say get rebase minus I had five. Uh. Fix M5. Okay, now it's hit minus six, I guess. We take one and we squash the other ones into it. Okay, so only one commit left. And I say then upgraded to rail six green. Fixed test, uh, fixed tests, fixed, oh, fixed tests, fixed. Okay, added breadcrumbs. And that's actually it, man. Now we say git push. No, before we do that, we say rspec, just to make sure that nothing break. It didn't, nothing break guys, nothing broken. But maybe, maybe you rebase like shit. I have a shitty commit inside. Your rebase goes to trash. And now you commit this and then you force push it to GitHub. That means everything is gone. So really careful with that. Before you force push, make sure that that branch is stable in a way that you can deal with it. Because otherwise, man, otherwise you guys have issues. Imagine you force push something and then like, oh shit, I merged the wrong branch and boom, all history is gone and the last three days you work for nothing. And believe me, stuff like this happened to me, happened to my colleagues, and probably happened to you already. It happens to everybody. We are, that's why we learn from these mistakes, right? 
because this happened to us once in the past. Yeah, pretty sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's the way to go. I like this. It's all green. All green, 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 green. I like this. Okay, get status. There's nothing in. Get push. Origin uh, rail 6 minus F. Get checkout master. Get. Now you can match it on GitHub actually if you want. So now I say pull requests. Rail 6. This ability auto merge. Oh. Resolve conflicts? What is this, dude? Is there a conflict? I don't think so. Get checkout master. Get merge rate six. Mm. me oh I can click use me that's cool so now I say good status get lock merged rail six okay now I say get push origin master And that should be good. And now it's merged, apparently. This branch is actually merged. Yeah, it is. And I can call delete branch. Okay, that's it. Updated. Rail 6. We are going with the... We evolve. We are going with the technology. We are life, you guys. We are... We are creating the future. It makes me happy. Because I remember... Two months ago when I started this. No. Five months ago in March when I did another side project. Similar lot to this just to see how it could be implemented just as a preparation. Rail 6 was already in alpha. They already had a, no, wait, not an alpha. They had an RC already, I guess, RC1. And I wanted to use it also for my crypto bad conversion pro project. I also wanted to use a race six. The problem is that at that time, uh, most of the gems just started with the rail six support. They all just came with the rail six support. They said like, I mean, the RC just came out. So yeah, you can use it, but it came like device. Device, they had Rails 6 support already because they went during the Rails 6 development. They kind of like make their own branch and make it sure it's working. But there are so many other gems out there who didn't actually be ready for Rails 6. But now that since it is already released, um, the gems are updating all kind of like if there are bugs. I mean, if, if I encounter a bug, I'm going to report it for sure. Or I fix it myself. So I feel like now the ecosystem is just keeping track of Rail 6. And then, um, yeah, we are good. We are all good. Nice. Get branch minus D rate six. Okay, and that Bulma branch can go to trash or what? Three branches, two branches. New pull request. Bulma, isn't that in? There isn't anything to compare, that's what I mean. It's it's gone, dude. Three days ago, that was Friday. What did we do? Seven commits behind. Oh yeah, okay. That was master. Alright, cool. 
So get branch minus the Bulma. Yeah, like it looks good. That was original Bulma, and then we say get branch. Nice, really good, really cool, guys. Okay, I think that's it now. That was one and a half hours. Um, yeah, I really have to go out with the kids, not the kids, with the dogs. Otherwise, my wife gonna be really, really mad on me. I would love to do a little bit more front end here right now and just bring it all together, you know, like change password, all this stuff. Just have it here, change two factor. But okay, you know what? We do this tomorrow. So just to put the current front end as we have it and make it into this one. So it's just like consistent. So that is something that we really, really, really can work with. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Then, what's next for you, us guys? I mean, tomorrow then? Okay, tomorrow we make the security pages, like change the... Enable OTP, change the password we just did. We just, I mean, we have it. We just fixed the templates for this. And we're gonna write tests for this. I know we have tests for some of those, but we really need tests for this. Um, then... Verification, we don't need this. Transactions looks really, really neat. I'm really, really happy with this one. Um, I think we could write a test for transactions as well, actually. Something like... Mm, I don't know what we could do here. Yeah, we, we can actually really write a test tomorrow for this page. That this page... I don't feel like we touched this. Do you guys think we touched this page? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna ever touch this page again because it looks so pretty. <laughs> so um, let me create here something. Rail C. So it's, I mean, we definitely gonna touch it a little bit, but create, uh, create buy order. I wanna buy a Bitcoin here. Are uh, you the insufficient funds? Really? I didn't even have enough money. Kai, I just bought some Bitcoin here. Kai. Cool. Um... Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, times 101. I want to do this. Okay, that's what I really wanted. Like zero, 0 0.749 Bitcoin. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, never mind. I, I think we definitely gonna have some changes here, but not dramatic changes. So we can uh, write a test that I want. I want to write a test that the uh, name is here, the balance is here, and that these values here are correctly displayed in a table. So just to make sure that this is all here, and then we need to actually what we in, which we implemented already, but we have here already this guy's uh, filter, right? So we can filter. So we all we have to do is find a way how to display it. So that maybe we can do tomorrow as well. And then we have to think about our order form. How do we create an order? That is hell of a task. Buy Bitcoin form. I gotta think about this tonight. See something like this. You don't see it that much. Um, what do we have here? You will buy, you will pay. Well... 
It's tricky because it's always like an estimate, right? But this we might do with, with uh, React, maybe. Maybe we do this form with React. Because then we can periodically just pull the current value of Bitcoin. And if it changed, the form changes. That could be something. Uh, packs for what else we have? Coinbase. That might look interesting. What is that? Coinbase? Maybe. That looks horrible. Uh huh. Let's have a look at these ones. It's always interesting to see how other companies do it. They all do it in a little similar way. Let's have a quick idea here about how, how we could implement this stuff. Uh, is this enough forms now? All right, let's have a look. Um, okay, so. Buy Bitcoins, currency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, amount, and the price fee. See, I think they put the fee on top, yeah? They put the fee on top. Why we deduct the fee? Maybe we change, maybe I change this. Maybe I'm gonna change this, that the fee is excluded. So that means if I say I have 10,000 in my wallet, And, oh wait, maybe we do both cases. Maybe I can make an option. I can make an option. I have 10,000. I want to spend all into Bitcoin. Give me as much as I can get. So we deduct the fee. On the other side, I can say, um, I have like 15,000. Uh, I want to buy one. I want to buy for 10,000. That equals one Bitcoin. And the fee goes on top. Okay. Could do that. Definitely. Uh, definitely. That, that's an idea. So there's definitely work to do. Oh, that's model logic as well. So that we... Ooh. So that we give them a volume. That's the amount we want to spend. And then there's a flag like exclude fee or put fee on top or something and then we actually have to specify the, the fee first so the idea is let's write this down quick i can say create buy order volume is ten thousand and i say ex mm, exclude fee true and this creates actually a create buy order for volume 10,139. Okay. Yeah. That could be cool. And for the sell order. For the sell order, we don't need this, I think, because the fee is deducted. Yeah, for the sell order, we don't need this because the fee is going to be deducted um, from... Uh, uh, you know what? Let's have a look here quick. User B, create... Create buy order. This is getting so difficult because I know that in the order IB we have something like, oh shit, dude. we have the fee is always deducted. The f uh, touch fee trades some fee. Mm -hmm. So we go to a trade. 
fee, set fee. That's the that's the point. Set fee, and the fee is buyer set seller set to receive. Okay, where is sell fee fee? Where is my death fee? Here is death fee set fee. See, this is like okay. This is heavy. Heavy. Good luck. We have tests for this. Um, so, I, 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 here we would say like if order include fee, then it's this, and else we say like so fee is uh, order divided by one point three nine times one or. I don't know, man. Something like this, right? Um, okay, so if we if we give him, I mean, let's do the math here. If we give him um, ten thousand one hundred thirty-nine, and we divide this by one hundred one hundred one point three nine times one hundred is ten thousand. So then this is the actual value that gets converted. Oof. Man, really shitty. I gotta go with the dogs out, guys. Uh, I wish you all a great Sunday. Um, have a nice weekend, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to follow me. If you follow me, you always get the email when I get live. And I go live tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, Bangkok, Thailand time. This is actually in 13 hours. So I see you guys again in 13 hours. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.